Hey, I'm, I'm, not, I'm on their body. I'm trying to shoot them. Why are my bullets ending up not on them? And this is why. What is up, guys? It's Dr. Zor here helping cure you from being a noob. If you're a new Valorant player, then one of your biggest complaints is probably the aim. Why is the recoil so high? My crosshair is clearly on the enemy, but my shots are not hitting. What is going on? Well, I'm here to explain it all to you right now. If you never played Counter-Strike before, the aim mechanics in Valorant are gonna be completely new and frustrating at first. The good news is I'm gonna break it down in this video. And if this video helps you out, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment down below on what you would like to see from me. I love hearing what you guys have to say and it helps me figure out what videos you guys need to help you guys play better in Valorant. If you want more tips, I also have a beginner guide video that I'll post down below that goes into more general gameplay tips to further help you out and get you dominating on the field. All right, let's go. Actually, it's probably not worth resting. Nice. Nice shots. The first thing that we want to talk about is figuring out our sensitivity. So what I like to do to start off figuring out sensitivity is I like to take your mouse pad and I would suggest that you have at least a large size mouse pad or bigger and that's going to really give you enough room to kind of move around. So now you take your mouse and just swipe it across to the other end of your mouse pad. Do that to the right, come back, reset and then go the same way to the left. And if you can do that and land right about 180 degrees behind you, that's usually a pretty good sensitivity to start off with. And this is with a large mouse pad. Obviously it's gonna vary if you have a bigger one, but the bigger the better, you know what I'm saying? So if you're able to get this much space, you have a pretty good sense that matches your mouse pad and it should be pretty comfortable. And this is important for if you get flanked or anything that you can do this. So I have a lot of mouse space, so I can go a little bit beyond that. But I find it pretty comfortable for me. So and this is just a starting point for you to figure out. You don't have to directly go into this, otherwise everyone would have the same sense. But this is a good way to start off with. Just find a sensitivity that you can do a 180 degree turn through your mouse pad. So we're in aim training now, and you can see my aim sensitivity is 0.662. Now this is also important, but you also want to figure out what your DPI is on your mouse. So for me, my mouse is on 800 DPI. So if I want to figure out my E DPI, I multiply my sensitivity here by the DPI that I use to get the E DPI. And this value is really important because if you have other pro players, like you have Shroud or any pro player from CSGO, they all use 400 DPI, and I find that to be a little bit too slow when I'm doing like normal browsing on the web, so I don't want to flicker around between the two. So I use 800 DPI, and I just have to do some math to get the same E DPI. Just a little bit of simple mathematicians 400 DPI, multiply that, figure out the E DPI, and then transfer that to my 800 DPI to get the same sensitivity. Now that you kind of have a general sense of the sensitivity that you want, the next thing you want to do, take what you just did, moving your mouse around your mouse pad, and make sure you're moving your entire forearm. I have a video that goes through this in CSGO, talking about how you want to be a forearm aimer rather than a wrist aimer. A lot of people use their wrist, like this is just me using my wrist, and this is as far as I can go. And I can't even get to the end of my mouse pad. A lot of players like this, they are wrist aimers, and this really limits you. Let's put this at, let's go at medium speed. Start, if I just use my wrist, I can do like some fine motions here. And I can, you know, still grab some kills pretty okay. But let's say someone's here, let's say someone's here, and I gotta go here. I have to use my wrist, and it's not good for really big motions. The wrist is really good for fine tuning your motions. And just getting your shots so just like go let's say just this little cone right here that i'm having just good for adjusting that amount of distance so right here i'm just using my wrist to aim miss that one so it's good for fine movements but if you want to do something big you're shooting someone you want to try to flick oh that was terrible you shoot here you want to flick onto another guy you won't be able to do this if you just use your wrist like if i use my wrist here uh, i'm stuck right here i can't do anything else I'm stuck and limited with how much motion I have. You guys not want to work B? We're on C. We, we, we have C. I'm not playing okay. Uh, behind me, mid window. I didn't know you guys were on C. That's my fault. He's there and one, one draws. One already through. One already through. Two, 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 two. You're dead. Phoenix all. 
Push your side, close. Last player standing. Last player standing. You got the ace! No! <laughs> That's the big gist of it. If you want more information, I have a more detailed video that I can put in the description down below. All right, so going into our next tip is the tough recoil pattern. So there's a lot of different recoils on these different guns and you want to learn all of them. But the ones I really want to do is the Spectre, the Phantom, and the Vandal. Those are kind of the main guns that I use. And you want to learn those ones. Those are the main ones that are on the highest tier list for the weapons as of right now. So we're just going to go over the Phantom. So close range, you have this spray pattern right here. I'm just going to let it go. Goes up, left, right. So what you want to do is counter that by going down, right, left. So it's going to look like this. So let's try no control, left, right, okay? Control, pull down a little bit to the left. Oops, sorry, pull down a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. So it's even a little bit hard for me to adapt to because I'm used to CSGO where I go left, right. So you have to really adapt and go down, right, left. And you can see that's pretty good right there. But one thing you wanna know though is that you really don't wanna spray like that the whole time. If we go back here again, we spray down, we try to control it. It's, it's pretty inaccurate even if you try to control it. It's pretty hard. I got a couple good shots, but you're going to end up really missing a lot of your bullets because of that high recoil. It's really hard to control. So what I would suggest you do is learn the downward motion. So look at the first 10 bullets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it goes relatively upwards only. So all you got to do for that is just pull straight down, pull straight down, pull straight down. And look how accurate that is. And you really want to practice this because this is the key to get your kills if you go past 10 bullets and you have to spray left and right you probably need to work a little bit more on your recoil and aim to get the kill because most players are going to kill you within those 10 bullets like right here boom boom and i can even demonstrate this on the aim too that i want to get my first kills within the first couple bullets right there no more than 10. no more than 10. just like that just like that and that's how you want to really get your kills. If you take too much, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to spray, control the recoil. Nope. Miss, uh, miss the first three bullets, trying to control it. And you can see, I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it takes a lot longer to control this. So you really want to be able to kill, learn this little downwards angle first. Boom, 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 boom. And try to apply that rather than trying to learn the whole 30 bullet recoil. Just learn the first 10 bullets and you'll be pretty set on what you have to do for most of your aim duels. One thing to notice is that after you shoot a couple bullets, your crosshair actually isn't where your shots are gonna go. Like if I just spray right here, and I'm not controlling it, look how my bullets are just going slightly above where my crosshair is. So this is something you gotta really know. The recoil is gonna affect where your aim is and you're not gonna actually be hitting where your crosshair is after a couple bullets. So you know, first shot's good, but after a couple of them, it's gonna land slightly above and that's due to the recoil. So this is really important to know. A lot of players are gonna be like this. They hit a couple shots and then, hey, I'm, I'm, not, I'm on their body. I'm trying to shoot them. Why are my bullets ending up not on them? And this is why the recoil makes it so it hits right above like your model. So again, after a couple bullets, you gotta learn that and that's going to be key for you to figure out your shots and it's going to decrease your frustration a lot what i like to do now is actually turn on firing error i know a lot of people don't like this but i actually have been practicing it a little bit and it kind of helps me out to know when i'm accurate or inaccurate so now i can kind of feel once once the crosshair kind of gets to its maximum height that's when i know that i'm going to be a little inaccurate and i got to adjust see first if i do a little burst it's, it's pretty fine but now the crosshair really tells me when it hits its maximum height that my crosshair is not going to be where the shots are going to hit. So try that out and that should help you a lot on your aim and decrease your frustration. All right, so tip number three is really a big supplement to tip number two about the recoil pattern. So you have the control of the recoil here. Boom, 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 boom. Now you want to apply it and work on your crosshair placement. So a lot of players, when they first start off, they like to aim right here at the body, just at chest level, and spray from there, and you know, maybe get a headshot like that. And this is the wrong way to aim, my friend. So we're gonna watch this guy here, and look how he aims his crosshair. When he hits that first bullet, 
he aims at the body and he stays there the whole way through eventually going to the legs and he's moving around as well he eventually gets a lucky headshot here but two things he was moving while shooting and you don't ever want to move while you shoot and his crosshair placement was too low you want to aim a little higher and let's get into that right now this might be pretty good for most games but you really want to be hitting more headshots if you see the pros they hit more headshots than they do body shots honestly like you watch them play you'll never see them hit a body shot most of the time so you want to work on crosshair placement instead of being at the body move that up to the headshot level and aim there and then you just gotta control down and get a kill from there if you missed the first bullet so i'm gonna show that right here and we're just gonna go slow i'm gonna adjust hit the headshot adjust hit the headshot adjust hit the headshot adjust hit the headshot so this is the first thing i would try to focus on is just getting your aim to where it needs to be you know you can start off nice and slow if you want to just get warmed up you can just do this stationary just take your other hand away and just aim and try to hit headshots and kill people within those first couple of bullets as i said earlier again keeping that crosshair at head level and never bringing it down to body level never just keep me at headshot level the whole time through all right, so once you have this down, you have the headshot, the crosshair placement, getting the recoil control a little bit better, you can progress to moving around. So you never actually want to move when you're shooting. This is key. You never want to be running around trying to shoot like this. Like you see a guy and then you're trying to shoot him. All right, I got a couple hits there, but you never want to run and gun. This is terrible. You see, I can't even get my shots. Even if I'm aiming at the head, I'm never going to hit the guy. You have to stop and shoot. So let's run around, stop, shoot run around stop shoot that's how you're going to be accurate and it just takes a little bit of a second you'll get used to it really fast on when the accuracy comes back and then you just move around stop when you see an enemy and shoot stop when you see an enemy and shoot stop when you see an enemy and shoot just like this so start off stationary again boom boom and then start moving around stop moving around stop because you're not really going to be stationary just standing there when you're playing you're gonna be moving around you see someone oops that was bad you see someone and then you're gonna aim for the headshot and bop them off so start stationary and then move on to that and then you can try to increase the speed as well so you have easy medium hard you can try to increase the speed and try to get a little bit faster we're gonna go here boom to challenge you to go a little bit faster here now and try to really get those kills and it changes the angle the range so that's pretty good too just to get more packs on that close range medium range long range that's also going to play a big factor as well so let's see if we go further away too so i was really close to the edge you can practice a little bit further i wouldn't go too much more than here because you won't really have many more duels and it will be harder so we can put it back on easy and then start again same process going a little bit further back and just getting your shots like this okay when you're further back you may be tempted to zoom in and try to get the kill that way this works but do note when you zoom in with those guns you will lose your rate of fire so you'll fire slower so we can just spray here like that okay just listen to that and now listen to how fast this feels it's a little bit slower so even if you're far away if you can i would really try to aim without using the line of sight we call it ads aim down sights and we call hip fire the aiming when you're not going down your sights. so it's like this so i really suggest that you just practice like this even if the guys are pretty far practicing this there may be a couple situations that you want to do this but i may fire with the hip just like this and just change the range come back close again when you feel like you need to switch it up and come back again when you try to switch it up again and just work on all your ranges and then again you can increase the speed and go faster at different ranges as well learning how to peak angles a lot of players are liking to hit that w key right now just walking straight in trying to get kills and hope for the best what you really want to do is you want to go much much slower than that this is a slower paced game and you want to take your time to clear angles so what does that look like so let's say i'm right here in haven and i'm trying to peak a long so if i don't have any information at all and i came a little bit late there could be a guy onto my left and to my right so if i just swing out like this and there's two guys one here one here i'm just gonna get double teamed by them and die so what i want to do is i want to be 
having my crosshair again, crosshair placement, so that if I swing, I'm gonna be a headshot level and I can bop them off. So I wanna clear one angle at a time. So I wanna clear the left first, cause that's closer to me. So get my crosshair placement ready to go. And then boom, 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 boom. And peek like that, boom. Just enough that you expose yourself to one angle at a time. You clear that off. You clear that guy, now you can move on. Okay, there might not be another guy there. There could be, but chances are there isn't. So you cleared that guy, now you can move over to the middle. And you can do multiple peaks at different angles as well too. So this is just a common one that someone might be. There could be someone that swings wide, just like I said earlier, like this, and ends up in the middle. So you could do, as you peek here, boom, boom. That's a little too wide for me. Let's try that again. A little close, boom, boom. All right, clear a little bit in the middle, boom, boom, if someone's there. And then peek out here, bam. So do that all together. One, two, and three. And if you need to go a little bit further, you might go peek a little bit more to the left, and boom, boom. So you really wanna clear the angles one at a time. You don't wanna just run in here like a maniac and just try to hope for kills. That's gonna get you nowhere, your crosshair placement's gonna be really poor, and you won't kill them. So again, just putting everything together, crosshair placement, learning the recoil, and just aiming and using the peaks now. One angle at a time, boom, boom, boom. And then you can kind of progress from there okay and you want to see someone could be behind these stones so you want to have your crosshair here now so we clear this one two three and now here four all right maybe someone a little bit more just coming by you want to peek that as well boom and then clear the rest of the a long area so i might be peeking at the ledge to the left here boom look at the right boom so just like that we just one at a time cleared every single area here and you can use your abilities to help you out too so you have utility all kinds of stuff that you can do with your abilities so i have sage here who has a wall and a orb so what i can do here is i can do a safe throw here in an angle so i'm not peeking anything now the right side's slow down i'll hear them if they come so i can safely just peek a little bit more to the right so you can just see if the enemies are coming here i'm gonna try to throw it a little bit more precise maybe a little bit more forward if i can so i have a little bit more room to peek that's a little bit better and then just like that, just clear that area. Don't expose yourself too much though. And then you can clear that, and then same thing, progress a little bit more along the way, just like that. You can also use your abilities to give yourself an unexpected angle for the enemy. So let's say I'm playing here, I've been playing this all game. It's pretty obvious that I'm gonna be here. So the enemy's gonna be just be able to come swing in here. You know, they're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna clear the right angle, maybe clear heaven a little bit, clear the middle the site and then just peek over at me and kill me so what i can do to switch things up if i've been doing this for a while is i can use my wall and just boom boost right up and then just have another angle like this now you want to do this a little bit safer than what i did though so if i just break this again see if we can break this down or we can use this as an example on this side where you're peeking here for like the whole game and now they're kind of expecting it they're gonna have an advantage because they're gonna pre-fire if they have the same crosshair planes that you have they pop it and then boom so what you want to do is just switch up the angles time and time again so let's say i peeked here for a while okay i've been doing that all game maybe i can you know throw an orb slow them down peek it it's clear and then i can just jump over to the other side switch up the angle again so that they're gonna have the cross here over here but i'm gonna be over here and i'll catch them off guard and again give myself the advantage and then same thing here you can do this little bit boost here with the sage wall you can jump up here peek like this and go a little bit lower peek here so now they have multiple angles they're looking at the ground here i can be boosted up at the sage wall or i can be boosted at the box and just giving myself so many angles that the player has a check that i should be able to kill them because i'm checking just one angle against them so that's all the peeking that you gotta do. You gotta make sure to clear angles, use your spells to give yourself a nice advantage over the NP player. That's all I have for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from me. I know a lot of you guys are new players, so I wanna get you guys prepared for what Valorant brings to the table. So let me know what's up. Do you need help with an agent? Do you need help with abilities? More aim tips? Leave them all in the comments down below. I'm Dr. Zor, helping cure you from being a noob. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.